Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road with Geocacher TN Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee, currently visiting Greenfield Village, an awesome outdoor history museum in Dearborn, Michigan. Right now, I am in the Edison at Work District, some buildings relating to Thomas Edison. I am about to enter Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory, the very laboratory in which Edison invented the incandescent light bulb. Come along with me as I have a lot of historical geocaching fun. Upstairs and see what else cool stuff we can find. Well, you can just picture Mr. Edison's men. They would sit in these long tables and they wouldn't just work on one experiment, they would work on several. Several ideas, yeah. You notice the organ at the very back of the room? Yes. Two reasons Mr. Edison had that here for sound experiments. It's sure. simply for the enjoyment of this man because yeah. they work so many long, long sure. hours. Now let me share this picture with you. Okay. This picture was taken in 1880 okay. when this complex was in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Okay. Everything within the white picket fence came from Menlo Park, New Jersey. Wow. Now see young Mr. Edison in his early 30s sitting with his men. Yes. See Mr. Edison sitting yes. there in front of the organ. Now the reason Henry Ford brought this complex here to Greenfield mm. Village, this is where Mr. Edison invented the phonograph. This is where he invented that first practical light bulb. This is where he invented that first practical lighting system. Back A lot in of major inventions here. Now, there were 21 scientists before Mr. Edison working on the light bulb, but they couldn't make that bulb continually burn. It kept burning out after a few seconds. What Mr. Edison and his men yeah. discovered by using the spray of they took liquid mercury, and as the mercury was traveling down the tube, it was pulling out all of the oxygen. You okay. have to have a vacuum in that bulb in order for that filament to burn. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, by attaching to a power source, which back then were these Daniel cells, that first bulb burned for 13 and a half hours. Wow. Now, let's go 50 years forward in time. Mm -hmm. Mr. Edison is no longer that young scientist. Now, Mr. Ford is opening up Greenfield Village. Village to the public. Mm -hmm. He's invited many dignitaries, including Mr. Edison, sure. to come sure. that night. Now, take a look at this picture. Now, you, this is how you think of Mr. Edison from the history books as a white a gentleman mm -hmm. with white hair like mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. There's the Mr. Edison sitting in the chair. There's mm -hmm. Henry Ford directly behind yeah. him. This gentleman here is President Herbert Hoover, also been invited okay. that night. Sure. This gentleman is Francis, yeah, one of Mr. Edison's Francis. original, one of Mr. Edison's original young assistants. Okay. Yes. okay. Now, see the chair that Mr. Edison is sitting yes. in? This is that chair here. On that night when Mr. Edison had gotten up from the chair and had gone back downstairs, Mr. Ford didn't want his chair to be in memory of Mr. Edison, uh, didn't want it to be lost among so many sure. other items. So what he had his men do is, he had his men secure that chair to the floor, and that's where it's been since that very night. If you notice Neat. the cut out of wood, this is the original mm -hmm. flooring. Since then we've had to repair and replace it. Sure. Out, but that remains the same. Now also, Neat. 
when Mr. Edison was in his senior years, he made a recording of what he had said into the phonograph. Let me play that recording for you. The first words I spoke in the little uh, phonograph, a little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a land which speaks the flight of smoke, and everywhere the Mary went, the land was sure to go. Mr. Edison is a father who had six children, so that's one of the things that he thought of to say so many years ago. So thank you, folks. I appreciate your stopping by. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, that about wraps up my video of Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory Complex. I hope you enjoyed seeing, as well as I, where the um, first incandescent light bulb was made. Just really neat to see the sites where major history happened. And so thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time you've watched any of my videos, thank you so much for doing that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post weekly videos of me visiting historical locations just like Greenfield Village each and every week. So thank you to all for watching. Please be sure to check out all of my videos at www.youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocacher TN Photobug signing out. I'm Indeed Abbey, a blast with the best.